uh, sometimes. Depends on the it depends on the area, my confidence in the area, and if I plan on coming back. Yeah. So um, a lot of times I'll shoot a doe, um, like right before closing time, in a buck area that I'm not going to come back to. Um, but I can say that that has haunted me a time or two. Um, I think uh, last season, early in the season, um, I did a stand that I wasn't real confident in, but I had something going on. I had some trail camp pictures going off, a lot of deer activity all of a sudden. And I thought, well, maybe something's going on here. I'm going to just watch it because I can see a bigger area. And it's a decent spot. And then I thought, you know what? It's a good opportunity for me. I'll shoot doe just before dark. There's been a lot of them coming out here. And uh, a doe came out, was wandering around in front of me. I was watching it forever. Nothing else moving. Put an arrow through the doe. It runs into the brush. I watch it die. And I glance off to my right. And there's a buck standing there. And I'm like, oh, that's, that might even be a shooter. It obviously watched me shoot that deer. It doesn't know I'm in the tree, but it saw something happened. Yeah, right. And it's kind of like alert. Its ears are up. And like, what the heck just happened? So I'm watching it. And I'm like, I don't know if I'd shoot that or not. It was, you know, probably Pope and Young, but barely, you know, right yeah. in that uh, big two-year-old, small three-year-old kind of range. And you're like, I don't know, you know, come a little closer and I'll let you know, you know, so yeah. I'm watching, he's out about 75, hundred yards and I'm watching him and something out of my peripheral catches my, my attention. And I look down and there's this giant buck walking underneath me. I grabbed my bow and I ended up, uh, I, that's the one I shot in the neck when it looked up at me. Yeah. But I don't think that buck would have ever looked up. I think it would have walked right in. I think it would have killed it cleanly, easily, if I had never shot that doe. Yeah. Right. But I, at that time, I didn't even know that buck existed. But when I left, I got down and pulled the card out of a camera I had nearby, and it was full of them for the last three days. Mm -hmm. That was a regular camera, and the camera that was going off like crazy was a cell cam. So uh, it can hurt you, but yep. uh, I do not specifically hunt does. Right. Um, I think it's a waste of time. So if 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 uh, say say uh, um, I want to go on a doe hunt for a weekend or something, right? That's two three days I could be out of state hunting bucks someplace else. Right. You know, even if I don't have a buck tag that weekend or whatever, mm -hmm. I want to. I want to be hunting bucks as much as possible. If you want to put as much bone on your wall as possible or as big as yeah. possible, the more hours and stand is probably the number one ingredient. Yeah. So right. spending time shooting does does not do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like having meat. I like making sure I have a little extra. So I like shooting does, but um, I'm tending to like shooting them during gun season a little more because I do those drives and stuff and then they ain't really hurting nothing. Right, 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 right. If you want to watch another video, click right here. But don't forget to subscribe before you leave.